Big Z Reviews. Archive 81 is a new Netflix horror mystery series that uh, just came out recently, and I really enjoyed it. I'm now gonna go knock on some doors. Wish me luck. There's something in this place that calls to you. Hello? Hello? So Archive 81 is not a great title for a show, but it's actually based on a podcast of the same name. And, uh, but I, I kept wanting the, wanted to, I kept wanting to call it Session 9, which was like a great horror film from like a decade ago or something. And, uh, but it mainly stars uh, Mamadou Assi as Dan Turner. And he is an archivist that like works on like restoring old film. And he's hired by this shady company to go out and all alone in this weird, creepy bunker to um to to uh fix and and uh digitally like m and turn into digital film you know this these series of tapes that were found in this wreckage of a of an apartment building that was burned down like uh, two two decades ago or something like that decade ago two decades ago i think and then the person filming that is uh dina uh shihabi as Melody Pendris. And then you kind of have like two stories where, you know, Dan is, uh, you know, watching the film and he's experiencing weird things like, like uh, he starts talking to Melody in the present day and he starts like seeing something in the footage like coming out at him. And he, he doesn't know if he's like going crazy being locked up in this bunker or doing this film. And then the Melody is like, trying to kind of unveiling this weird cult that is in this this uh, apartment and that's like there's like this weird mold that's and it's like he she hears these weird like singing all the time like in the vents and there's this like I really like the cultish aspect and like to me personally nothing was too scary but I think that's definitely some stuff you could be scared of like uh, they remind me a little bit of like some of the films like, like, you know, that one film, I'm drawing a blank on it right now, but they're from Scott Derrickson. Uh, but, like, he, you know, that where, like, the, you see, like, the film of, like, the kids killing their families. And then you can see that thing standing there, like, watching you and it come out of the film. You know, there's some stuff like that. And I, I liked all of it, you know. I, I really liked that, the Dan Turner aspect, like, in the present, like, like, that's some more, like, mind-bending stuff where, like, he doesn't know if he's going crazy yeah, there's a lot of like interesting stuff to there, and like I, I kind of, I really enjoyed it. Like the only time, sometimes they break their rules of like they, you know, some of the stuff is like you know the found footage, but in some of the stuff they turn into like where, you know, how, how, how is that film? You know, because like you're watching it, like they kind of break their own rules. Like she's not actually filming, so like how would he have seen this? But I guess you say that well, and then now the viewer is watching what's like it's back in time watching that. Like you're not like you you and Dan aren't seeing the same things, but you know I feel like sometimes it's like it's some of the some of the ways some of the things they do are a little iffy, and like some of the some of the plot twists and turns are a little goofy, but in general I enjoyed all of it. Like I I love a good cult horror horror flick, you know like with trying to raise this demon from this other universe and stuff. There's some there's some really cool stuff. And I just, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like, I definitely would recommend giving them a watch if you have Netflix. Probably give it like a 8.75 out of 10. Well, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of me, you can subscribe down below. Thanks.